Last night we told you about a spacecraft built right here in Colorado carrying a pristine sample of an outer space asteroid. Well, now, after being launched seven years ago, the OSIRIS-REx has safely touched down in Utah. You can see it here parachuting back to Earth earlier this morning in this video. Denver 7's Brandon Richards spoke with the Colorado team that, maked that, mission, that made that mission possible. The sample from the asteroid landed successfully in Utah this morning. And the people who work in this building behind me in Littleton were very excited because they played a critical role in this mission. Oh, this day is huge. We've been preparing for this day for years. Alec Mastis is part of the team at Lockheed Martin in Littleton, responsible for flying the OSIRIS-REx robotic spacecraft. OREx, as they've nicknamed it, journeyed hundreds of millions of miles away from Earth to an asteroid known as Bennu. And that asteroid is an asteroid that is believed to have been around since the start of the solar system. The spacecraft landed on the asteroid in October 2020 and collected a sample of rocks and soil from the surface and began making the long journey back towards Earth along with that sample and perhaps answers to some of life's most important questions. As a kid and, and even as an adult, I still ask myself, where did we come from, right? And a mission like this attempts to to unlock those secrets. But instead of landing back on Earth, OREx will act as a delivery driver of sorts, ejecting the capsule containing the sample into the atmosphere, where it will descend thousands of miles to the ground. Finally, the moment arrived, and the Lockheed Martin team in Littleton gathered to watch. There's a certain point, you know, where we, we release a capsule and we're just waiting. And that's the hardest part is, you know, we can't do anything at this point. After a few anxious minutes, the capsule's parachute opened and it landed safely in the Utah desert. Fortunately for us, everything went exactly as planned. The sample will now be taken to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, where scientists will examine it. As for the OREx spacecraft, it moves on to its next mission. The spacecraft is on to its extended mission to go visit the asteroid Apophis, uh, which will rendezvous in June of 2029. And just like before, the team in Littleton will be guiding the spacecraft as it journeys into the great unknown on a search for more answers about where we came from. In Littleton, Brandon Richard, Denver 7. Very cool. And experts say the asteroid where the samples came from, it's about the size of the Empire State Building. And they say there is a small chance, a 1 in 2700 chance, that it could collide with the Earth in the year 2082. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see on that one.